Chuck Bass and no guest. You may enter. Blair Waldorf working the door. I got an internship at W. You know when you will be editor by May. The plan's working. So it seems to be. I hear rain and just leave. What is that, three days in a row now? Things are getting serious. I'm fast enough. We're stuck in this meaningless, mind-blowing sex loop. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Rain is the one person that can stop her father from swallowing up Bass Industries. I need her to fall for me so she'll spare my company. Yeah, well, she doesn't strike me as the love at first sight type, so just give it some time. Time is the one thing I don't have. One of my corporate weasels informed me that the board is voting tonight at 8 to approve the bid. Once that happens, Bass Industries is toast. I need to wipe my game. No pun intended. Hello, anybody home? Epperly, uh, meet my good friend Chuck Bass. Nice to meet you, Mr. Bass. That's Nate. Chuck, we need a favor. The magazine lost its space for the kickoff party tonight, and Epperly and I both agree the Empire would be the perfect placement. Sadly, the Empire is spoken for. But the palace is available. The palace would lend an air of old world sophistication to the evening. I'd have to check with Florence's manager. Do you have a stage? They'll have one by tonight. Okay, I can get behind that. And that brings me to another point of business. Nate, would you show Epperly the view from the roof? It's something you must see. Excellent idea. I need to speak to Blair alone for a moment. Looks like our favorite Upper East sinners just found the answer to their prayers. I need, I need your help. help. Lucky for us, their road to heaven leads straight through hell.